I have a better chance of winning breakdance battles or beating Tyree Kill in a 40 than OU fans or anybody else does of Ollie Gordon leaving Stillwater soon. Because this Mike Gunley season of change is here. He can feel it. I'm pretty sure by now, so can you. You are Locked On Oklahoma State, your daily podcast on the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Howdy, y'all, and hello, all. Welcome back to Locked On Oklahoma State, your daily stop for all things cowboy and cowgirl related. My name is Cody Stovall. I want to thank you kindly for stopping by to make this your first listen. We're available on all of your podcasting platforms, visually as well on YouTube. Find me personally on X at All Day O State today. We partially brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app today, create an account, and use the code Locked On College for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Meanwhile, we're going to get started. In the understanding that you can talk anybody you want off of the ledge or onto it, but Ollie Gordon is not going anywhere, right? Ollie Gordon is staying in Stillwater. It's for much deeper reasons than simply because he loves being a cowboy. You don't spend that amount of time validating that all of your offensive linemen need to get extra NIL money for you to then abandon. You don't come back from turning down multiple SEC schools from almost double what you're going to get from Oklahoma State if you don't see the bigger picture. If you don't see this Mike Gundy season of change, then what are we doing? OU fans don't seem to see it, but I'm telling you, don't get bogged down in the craziness and the conversation of Ollie Gordon leaving after spring because of X, Y, and Z. It ain't happening. But this season of change is happening, and that's part of why Ollie Gordon is so squared away. You guys have heard me say capitalization is key. It's it's key for Mike Gundy primarily because of the success, but also because of the foundation it provides for every other class that's about to come in in the play. We talked a little bit about Jalen Beckley and how massive of a get he's going to be for Oklahoma State. If that helps grow some more spider webs into the showbill territory that's great for us Juan million aguilar that's great for us there's 20 25 prospects that are waiting to see what oklahoma state does so in this season of capitalization we're seeing a different mike gundy there's not very many times where you can visibly see mike gundy is a different cat this is one of those those seasons he's being way more open and upfront with things than he's ever been before He's usually pretty candid when it comes to certain areas, but he's also very standoffish when it comes to depth and development of certain positions and what particular guys are doing or if they're coming back from injuries and this and that and the other. This season is different. If you ask him a question, by and large, he's giving the most factual, unfiltered answers I've ever heard out of Mike Gundy. And we give props here, okay? Give give credit when credit's due. Our main man, Robert Allen, I don't know if he got released to be a little bit more open and upfront, but he is being. So recently, you're going to get some pretty golden nuggets out of, out of Robert Allen. So I'm appreciative of Mike Gundy and Robert Allen and, of course, Ollie Gordon. I'm also appreciative of any OU show or any other show or any other fan base that is spreading the tentacles of Ollie Gordon leaving Stillwater. It's not happening, right? He's here to chase the greats like Barry and Thurman. Part of that is he would like to do it in an Oklahoma State uniform. Another part of that is when you have the offseason meetings and you put forth a plan for somebody, the plan that Oklahoma State put together on top of NIL. So completely outside of NIL, the game plan for him this season was a direct path to the NFL. These are things that Oklahoma State traditionally is viewed to be not lenient, but unable to do. But with the emergence of some of the guys in the running back position playing in the league right now, 
I think it does offer a little bit more for Oakland State. And then you have somebody like A.J. Green, who almost has 1,000 yards in the SEC, willingly wants to come play backup to somebody who's going to be on all of the Heisman preseason watch lists. Of course, that's why you're going to be hearing that Ollie Gordon's going somewhere. It ain't happening. It definitely is not happening this season at all. Now, if something catastrophic goes wrong in this season, then maybe next year, different conversation. But if we have the season, the season of change, then Ollie Gordon should be able to catapult himself from this season straight to the NFL. No other stops, no stop go, just ready to rock and roll. Because of this season of change, we all know that I was very critical of Gundy at times because, you know, him doing stuff on the farm or buying a bunch of land or having business meetings or acquiring other businesses or having acquisition meetings instead of being at some of the practices. Those were things that were frustrating to me. And now, after last season, all of that's gone, right? He's downsizing. He's simplifying his life. He is narrowing in on one singular focus, and that is winning with this team. The question has been posed, is this the greatest team Mike Gunny's ever returned? From a roster standpoint, numerically, depth-wise, absolutely. Now, there's going to be some other teams, like 2011, 2017, that had a bunch of NFL talent. So replicating the NFL talent, that's what we don't know yet. We think we have that. With Nick Martin, Colin Oliver, Kendall Daniels, I do think that there's going to be a quarterback or two that emerges out of this group that ends up having some professional capabilities from the wide receiver position. Dijon Stribling is right there as that next primetime X receiver to come through Stillwater. We know what Brendan Presley is. We know what Talon Shetron can provide. We know that Rashad Owens has cleaned up some of the wide-open drops, which was his only Achilles heel for his entire time in Stillwater. The defense is going to take some chances, which means we're going to give up some things occasionally, but the risk to reward means we're going to have more reward than, than risk. And we athletically can do this. This is the season of change. We talked about perception. The perception needs to shift. It's starting to. The high school coaches are starting to talk a little bit differently about Mike Gundy in Oklahoma State than they did a few years ago. The circuits for the the high school recruiting, the verbal communication between parents and trainers and, and scouts and evaluators and coaches about what's happening in Stillwater is getting better. That's one of the the funnest things I've been able to take out of covering some high school football is just seeing how coaches across the country are viewed. Some of it is is positive. Some of it's negative. Some of it's right. Some of it's unwarranted. But the conversations about what you can do at Oklahoma State, what you can become at Oklahoma State, and how much of a legitimate shot you're going to get Out of Oklahoma State, all of those conversations are improving, which is why we're getting bigger names to come take visits, which is why we're getting bigger names to put Oklahoma State in their top three, top five. We just keep chipping away. Yeah, it's been a slow grind. It's been a a 19-year grind, okay? But five years ago, we had maybe one 300-pounder, two. Now we have 20-something 300-pounders. We just talked about how we had to thrive with guys the size of Malcolm Rodriguez and hope that they would be all-world, which Malcolm was. But now we're getting linebackers that are 6'3", 215, coming out of high school. 6'4", 225, coming out of high school. The perception is changing. And this is the season to change it. You can see this thing slowly starting to turn. I think Mike Gunny feels that. Mike Gunny is that. That's why not only is there competition all across the field, but we're in a rare spot from a culture position and a leadership position and a coaching position 
that this is is a little bit different. The opportunities at Oklahoma State are a little bit different. Now it's just the season to prove it to everybody. This is the prove it season for Mike Gundy to shut everybody up, even some of the people like myself that were reserved on whether Mike Gundy could find another gear, even some of the negative Nancys of the world. If you win in Arlington, the recruiting number fixes itself. That perception fixes itself. The conversations between parents and high school coaches and scouts and all of that, it's continuing to get better. Everyone's just waiting on that prove-it moment. This is that prove-it moment. This is that prove-it season. It's a season of change where the perception of Oklahoma State should change forever. We've got the dudes to do it, and everybody's getting so much work in that it adds to another layer of the things that you can sell at Oklahoma State. Just like Brian Naro's defense, it's, it's worth selling. There's so many things that are happening positively right now that I can't wait on the season to start. We know what we have from the quarterback room, right? It's quarterback 1A and 1B. Alan Bowman's improved in a lot of areas. You guys know what Garrett Rangel's been able to do, and I am happy that people are finally waking up after seeing several little clips of what Rangel's doing in practice for people to realize the 180-pound kid that people saw a couple of years ago and a couple of games last season, it's night and day different than the dude that's on the field today. People are waking up to that realization. People are also understanding what we have right behind them, and Zane Flores is almost equally as exciting. What is exciting 100% of the time is FanDuel. Making money is, is good. It's good for you. It's good for me. It's good for the economy. So right now, get dialed in with FanDuel. Because it, whether it's NBA, NHL, baseball, FanDuel is your top spot to bet on every game. Right now, new customers get 150 bucks back in bonus bets, guaranteed. That's 150 bones back in your wallet or your pocket. When you bet on everything from slap shots to home runs to slam dunks, you can do it all on FanDuel with the app that is safe, secure, and super easy to use. Don't wait any longer. Hit the over. Matter of fact, hammer the over by going to FanDuel.com slash locked on. Make your next bet your best bet and an automatic W with FanDuel. It is America's number one sports book. Make sure you go check them out today. So the early bird gets the worm. We've heard that saying. The early birds are getting the work in Stillwater, the bulk of the work. And it's primarily not due to injury. It's due to the unnecessary amount of strain on a body. We do have a couple green jersey guys like Nick Martin that's you know nursing back a little bit of a wrist. You know, we've got Dijon Stribling still kind of in a little bit of a, a very minor protocol type of scenario, which is allowing the young guys to get work. We talked yesterday about some of the perception about Oklahoma State changing and how the conversations in the recruiting trail about Oklahoma State are start, starting to shift a little bit. This has to be that, that season of capitalization and change. But one of the biggest things that we're selling, other than the wild, wacky stuff we're doing in the Brian Nardo defense, other than the fact that if you're anywhere labeled as a tweener, but you know you've got the ability to dominate the Division One level, there's so many things that we have for sale at Oklahoma State, the consistency and continuity with the coaching staff, having coaches that have been here for nine years, 12 years, 14 years, all across the board. That's another thing in, in the long line that we can sell the cowboy culture, the new revitalization of it, and the revitalized, rejuvenated Mike Gundy. This is all stuff we can sell. But another thing we can sell is because of the cowboy culture and the way that we get the locker room to be more player led than coach led because of this, it allows young guys to play more, right? We had a discussion this time last spring. It wasn't as positive by any stretch of the imagination, but just in regards to potential transferring and things of that nature. And one of the things that was mentioned is still applicable. 
that nobody can come out of the spring last year and say that I didn't get enough opportunities at Oklahoma State. I didn't get enough snaps. As a true freshman, redshirt freshman, sophomore that's coming up, we divvy out snaps pretty wholesomely. And we wholeheartedly expect results. So if you get put in there, we expect there to be some trial and error, but we also expect there to be some production, or you wouldn't be in there at all. And you're you're never going to find a replacement for repetitions in almost any sport, anytime, anywhere. The repetitions that you get in practice are massive. The repetitions that you get in a game are obviously a little bit different because you can adjust to the speed. But we're talking about salesmanship. Sales is the most important thing you could possibly ever do because every minute of every day when you wake up, you're selling yourself, right? Your abilities, your character, your traits, your work ethic, your morals, integrity, all of it. So every time that these young cats get the opportunity to play, they're showing an account for themselves. They're showing that I can do something here in Stillwater because I know what we're building is special. Jalen Beckley told me yesterday, or it might have been today, that there is something very special about Stillwater. You can go to Clemson or Florida, Florida State or Georgia, Miami, whatever, and you'll see a lot of things that make those stops worth their weight in gold. But none of them are going to be quite the same as a fully functioning Cowboy cultured Stillwater America locker room. The town is different. The way that we approach sports is different. The way that we support our programs is different. I think when you combine the right moral fiber guys to an emerging situation, you have nowhere to go but up. The only way. The only way that this goes backwards at this point in time is if we absolutely tank this season or we roll out some putrid offense that can't score more than 10 points a game or if the defense, for whatever reason, finds a way to give up 250 yards rushing a game. It's almost like the only thing that would put us backwards is if our own coaches got in their own ways. I'm not going to say that this is smooth sailing. It's going to run itself, but this is the most player led team we've had since 2021. And the 2021 team was a lot of heart, a lot of grit, a lot of work ethic, determination, make the extra play, go the extra mile, do the extra thing. They weren't blessed with as much physical size and talent that this roster has. Again, you go back to the number of 300-pounders or seven power five returning starting offensive linemen or the fact that you've got dudes who could go compete in national college weightlifting style of events. Armstrong Notum has been mentioned several times. We knew the physicality was a mini Justin Kirkland level coming in, but his Ability to translate it on the field has been a breath of fresh air. Same with Josh Ford, another freshman, early enrollee, tied in, that is is doing way more than we thought he was going to be able to do early on. And you know that's saying something because Mike Gundy has personally known Josh Ford for years. Josh Ford has been in his home, the same home that's up for sale, a hundred times, two hundred times. Mike Gundy knows Josh Ford. He knows Jacoby Sanders. So if he's saying that Josh is way ahead of schedule and you're hearing it from the other coaches, that's saying something. What's also saying something is he's ahead of schedule, kind of like Jack and Dean was last season, but there's no rush because we're very happy with Quentin Stewart. We're very comfortable with what Tyler Foster has already provided in such a short amount of time. That 6'7", 255-pound frame is going to be massively beneficial for whomever is slinging the pigskin. Coming to Oklahoma State is about a multitude of things. One of those is just simply getting opportunities. Just like last season, nobody could complain that I didn't get enough 
reps. I didn't get enough time on the field. You could have some say, I didn't get enough reps with the ones. That might be applicable. But nobody can say, I didn't get enough reps, period. There's nobody that's a third teamer that can say, I wish I would have had an opportunity or two to maybe bump up to second string. That doesn't happen in still, or at least not recently. You're not always going to have the benefit of this many six, seven-year guys. I understand that. You're also not going to have the benefit of having so many crazy, talented, returning, 10-win starters. But there's so many things for sale right now at Oklahoma State, and people are starting to listen more than ever. People are just waiting for that next little notch up. I think if we take that next little notch up, that will be that, aha, Oklahoma State has arrived. I am going there moment. Right now you're getting players that see what we're building and they want to be a part of it because they know it's going to be special. Eventually we can turn that into the mold where everybody views Oklahoma State as a major destination. Not a backup destination if I don't get a Florida or Clemson offer. When you see guys like Ollie Gordon turn down Oregon and Texas to come to Oklahoma State. When you see guys like Landon Cleveland turn down Georgia and Texas to come to O State. When you see guys like Jalen Beckley turn down Clemson, Georgia, whomever else to come to Oklahoma State. That shows you that we are building the right thing. The word is starting to matriculate out naturally and reverberate around the high school recruiting realm. They just want to see it be finalized, galvanized, forged in fire in Arlington throughout the course of the season. This is an exciting time to be a cowboy. This is an exciting time to get pumped up for what we have cooking. It's also an exciting time to give anybody you know a hard time about Ollie Gordon because he ain't going nowhere. So if you want to if you want to hammer the over on that one too, feel free to do so. In the meantime, you and I have to talk about game time because baseball's heating up. The Cowboys are looking to show some life in the Big 12 title, which could make regionals a little more interesting. But whether it's Major League Baseball or hammering the over and finding the right tickets game time is going to find them faster and easier for you. Prices on the game time app actually go down the closer you get to the first pitch when we're talking baseball. We know about the last minute killer deals, the all in prices, then the lowest price guarantee means that game time takes all of the guesswork out of you buying Major League Baseball or any other ticket. Pick out specific games or matchups that you would love to attend. You can talk about any of the deals you see for, for upcoming games. Make sure that whenever you go through this experience, you take the view from the seat. To me, that's one of the biggest things that they provide. The all-in pricing, it's a feature that gives you the total up front, so there's no surprises at checkout. The lowest price guarantee means that game time will credit you 110% of the difference if you find a seat cheaper and uh, in the same row. The game time coverage is the best, so you need to take the guesswork. Are you buying tickets? With Game Time, download the Game Time app today. Create an account and use the code Locked On College, all one word, for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply, but make sure you create that account. Redeem the code L O C K E D O N C O L L E G E Locked On College for twenty dollars off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Well. More work for Keaton Page is also guaranteed. The once great cowboy sharpshooter and Pawnee, Oklahoma native has been retained by Steve Lutz and the new staff. I think that is phenomenal for not just familiarity within in the locker room, but there's going to be a decent amount of those guys that are very bought into what Keaton Page is doing from a shot selection and how to get prepared to, to take a shot that connection is going to be big. 
if you can have somebody from the former staff or a couple people from the former staff, that's always going to be a direct tie to the guys that are currently on the roster. It's also going to be a direct tie to maybe some of the, the guys that are going to be in the transfer portal that maybe Oklahoma State was in on a year or two ago that Keaton Page had a very heavy hand in helping that could now see him still being in Oklahoma State as, as something that they can utilize to their advantage. So I think that's huge. You guys know my stance on a couple of the analysts. I think we should absolutely keep an analyst or two around for the same reason, but also some of the analysts that we have have a national reach, more of a national reach in different areas of, of expertise than maybe even a Steve Lutz provides. But on top of absolutely getting a steal of a deal, we also bring over Mr. Miller, who was the um, – uh, assistant coach of Michigan State, before that, New Mexico State, has 18 years in the coaching landscape. He's been a, a young name, or a name that's been on a lot of up-and-coming coaching lists. He's recruited a couple big-time guys that have made some waves in the league. So this is a huge deal for Steve Lutz. When, it talks, when you talk about assembly of your staff, keeping Keaton Page, I think, was going to be huge for some of the guys that are, that are staying like a Connor Dow or a Jamiron Keller or Bryce Thompson, just like I think it's massive that you can get a coach in that has the experience in the SEC of Michigan State, but also has the experience of going to New Mexico State and being part of some staffs in Omaha and other stops that have helped him cut his teeth and take a little bit of a, a different recruiting approach, right? More of that Brian Nardo getting a lot of living rooms, hone in on your, your craft, perfect your craft better, I think we're going to see that. No matter what, we know that this old school, you know, throwback style of, of coaching that we're seeing from Steve Lutz, it's good, right? Even if it's just for nostalgic purposes, even if it's just because we're now undefeated under our new head man and it's early, maybe it's because we haven't lost Eric Daly Jr. or a, or a Brandon Garrison level guy yet. But what he is doing is adding solidification to the fact that Oklahoma State is going to be a team to be reckoned with, at least from a physicality standpoint, from a buy-in standpoint, from, like we covered yesterday, more of a discipline standpoint. Playing 98% of games, very, very good, was not Oklahoma State's issue under Mike Boynton. It was the last 2% of games that we just never X's and O's or, or you know, just being disciplined enough to make it work. Steve Lutz is the exact opposite of Mike Boynton when it comes to on-court stuff. He's not going to be as player coachy, right? So he's not going to be as buddy-buddy with the dudes, which means he may not recruit quite as well as Mike Boynton, but if he, he can recruit to the Oklahoma State level and he can retain rosters to the Oklahoma State level, then it's fine. We needed an improvement in the disciplinarian X's and O's, and we got it. Um, don't have a lot of room for all sports check in. Cowboys keep cruising. Big one over Wichita State. We pounded them. Cowgirls, we're looking to, to you know keep on capitalizing here. Women's tennis, you keep cruising. Men's tennis just got a big signature. Wrestling's got a couple big time transfers coming in. This is a good time. Golf, we've got several Cowboys playing in um, the Masters. This is a good time to be a Cowboy. So if you know somebody that's looking for a new fan base, they're on the fence. If you have some kind of Pac-12 fans that are waiting for the next up-and-comers, it's your Cowboys. This is the season of change. It's the season to prove it. Proving it adds the solidification to the recruiting and the maintenance of the roster retention year in and year out that we need. We're there. People can sense it. They can feel it. Now they just have to see it. And we got to go take it, right? That's been the theme from all the players. We have to go take it. So let's do that. All right, y'all. Until next time, that's all we're going to have for this one right here. God bless. Go Pokes. So I do have to give a shout out. My boys, Fountain Fort Carson, we had our bedlam. Had our first win in baseball over Pine Creek since 2016, 5-1. to one. So we're riding a high. You should be riding the high, too. I appreciate you. 
Thank you for tuning in to make this your first listen here on Locked On Oklahoma State. You could be anywhere. So happy you choose to be here. Like it. Most importantly, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the stars. Leave the reviews. Do what you do. Later, taters.